Hello everybody, welcome to game number 12 of Rats vs Norse. This might be a bad matchup, eh? Oh, it's Debaser. Oh no, it's Debaser with his troll team. Oh, fucking hell. All he does is just troll with his team, though. He didn't even try to win last time. He was just blocking and fouling. Dirty player, dirty player. Oaths with mighty blow now. <sighs> this is going to be painful, probably. And he still wins, wins a lot. Just because I guess he, maybe he gets concessions, but... It's still gonna be fucking dodgy to get the top scaven here, as bad as as bad as the top scaven record is, with my, with me conceding that game. Like I should really have just lost one game with this team. Um, there is a formula, and what you can do is you can do. Uh, huh? You can go to that link there. And um, there's a formula, so you can you can put in a record and see how many points you get. But it's essentially your win percentage. Um, it's a percentage of your win percentage up to 42 games, and it's purely win percentage. BLGF. Mm -hmm. I really mean it, because you're an asshole. <laughs> and I mean that in the nicest possible way to debase it, but he just... Goes for the killing and doesn't even protect the ball or anything. It was so crazy the last game that I played against him with my dark elf. But like, it's going to win him some games. It could win him this game. To be fair, it's not. It's so I like you know I shouldn't be too harsh on him because it's a valid way to win games. When your opponent hasn't got a team left, you can win. Yeah, the linemen are really, really good at leveling. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, I mean, yeah, it's roughly win percentage. Because there's a slight bonus of playing games as well, isn't there? And a penalty for conceding and stuff. Yeah, second level before the Storm Vermin get one. It's a bit of a joke, because now I guess I should have focused our player points on them. I guess I should have done, gone for handoffs and shit. Um, right, what what was, what what did I want to do then? I was going to search for something. Currently top breath though, man. Yeah, 9-0-2 were the rats. I mean, it should have been 9-1. Well, it was 9, it, it should be 9-0-1 with the game that I didn't play. Because I just fucking conceded. Because I was pissed off. And you know, who knows, maybe I could have drawn that game, maybe won it. Probably would have lost it, but I was a bit of a dickhead conceding that one. I mean, he beat Inarian, I think, last season with his Norse. I think his Norse did beat Inarian last season because um, because that's the thing. If you if you do, I fucking misclicked there as well when I came back because I tabbed out. So this 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 touchback wasn't even my wasn't my fault. <laughs> um. Yeah, he was fairly good to my knowledge, but then he just trolled. He just trolled with his with his Norse team. Like fair enough going for the attrition, but he just didn't protect the ball. He didn't even try to score against me. It was really weird. It was just really weird because like, why are you even playing like this? Oh, there you go. This is this is what he does. So like yeah, it's it's not a bad strategy. Like with Norse against agility teams, obviously, you know, if he just goes for fouling and everything, but at least do it at least do it fucking intelligently. Don't do it the way he did it. Like we just didn't even try to protect the ball and stuff. Holy shit! It really it really rustled my gyms. <laughs> Members of Team Fantastic doing these ladders. Um, well, about the same as me. You made pretty much. 
Yeah, I did call going down to 13 men. Yeah, I hoped it wouldn't happen turn one. Pretty much the same as me. I mean, I guess, oh, well, I don't know. I guess end zone. End zone would, like, go fucking 30, you know, wouldn't he? <laughs> He's probably gone 30, you know, in black box. To be fair, I went, like, 50 on button or something. End zone would probably go, like, 30, you know, would help. Lucky for Inari and Enzo doesn't play on this. <laughs> because he'd be like... He'd probably be 42 and he'd probably be like, I've got to play 40, 42 games for max max win percentage. He'd probably just go 42-0-0 every single season. Nah, probably not because there's bigger TV gaps, isn't there, than Fumble. Like, in a way, it's harder. In a way, it's harder than Fumble because with Fumble, you can control your TV. And get even TV matchups every time, but that's just not even an option here, is it? So I don't think they would. I don't think. I mean, yeah, Relazite's really good, but I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think he's better than me. <laughs> um, like I don't even think Pete W is better than me really. So I think they do about the same as me. I don't think the top the top fumble players will move because I think they're they're all stuck in their ways. Like I, I, I don't know. I just I don't think I don't think anyone's really better than me. Oh yeah, so I prefer the older rules, so that's a true. That's true, isn't it? Like, Pete W always has, like, ridiculous stat freaks teams and plays in ranked a lot. And the same with Malmere. Um, so, you know. Look, lucky, lucky in Arian that the end zone doesn't play. On Blood Bowl 2, because he would go 42 and 0 every season. If I was only joking, you know. I'm not really 100% serious when I say stuff. As somebody called me a cunt on my YouTube said, um, but <laughs> it's not really. You know, I'm not 100% serious all the time. But I think he would do. I don't know. He probably wouldn't. Like you know, it depends, doesn't it? Is he's, he's ridiculous with Wood Elves, by the way. But he probably would just go for what's easiest, like the way that I tend to do, go for. Or maybe just try different teams and stuff like it, Ducky does. It'd be good if they got it. It'd be good if they it'd be good if they joined the, the Fashtastic League, wouldn't it? It'd be good if like we could have Ducky Ducky versus Pete W and Inarian versus Enzone. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Those kind of games would be pretty fun to see how good, you know, see the differences. I mean, I, to be honest, I think once people are, like, good at Blood Bowl, there's not a lot of difference between, you know, say, Ducky and Inarian and Mold Ripster and Pete W and Malmere. And I don't think there's a lot of difference, to be honest. This is, this is a typical debate, though, isn't it? Five blocks... Three, three removals, including one death. Could blitz him to dodge him away, but don't really care about him. Very good point about the rule set. I didn't consider that, but yeah, the new rules. Are, the new rules are fucking awful. <laughs> so, yeah, that could be something that would make fumblers change a little bit. Now oh, it's a bit shit, isn't it? Because 
He's got tackle, so he's a bit dangerous against the the gutters here. Fuck is this though? No players left instantly. I don't want to do four plus. Well, the three plus out is pretty good, isn't it? But then he can blitz it anyway. So fuck it. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. That's true. The no piling on is gonna make people make people enjoy it. Blitz without block, just so that you can get, just so you can level him. I mean, that's that's just awful, isn't it? It's just awful. Should have been punished with a one in nine. 100%. Means you can get a big foul though. The record is 902, Pedro Jack. I should have it in the corner again, shouldn't I? I'd, I'd really don't. I'm trying not to care. Really trying not to care about the record though. <laughs> really, really trying to not care about the record. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad VIP coming Yeah, I think the new rules are pretty bad. Like outside of getting rid of um getting rid of piling on, I guess most people are gonna be happy that piling on's gone. Tasty knockdown there. Can't protect the gutters because too many people are fucking dying. That's the worst thing about making these two KOs and the cars is that now the, the gutters are having to be exposed, aren't they? Can't read all this. Yeah, the MVP rule is amazing, yeah. And I guess the new inducements are the worst thing, and then they're, they're like, they're almost as bad on cyanide anyway, yeah. New ways. It's disgusting. Get to use it twice for 80k. I don't care if it scatters. Just fucking put it down there. See where it goes. Like, it's gonna go. It's got a good chance of just scattering one square, hasn't it? And, like, it's busted for Skaven. The new whiz is 80,000. It, um,. It's like the wizard already, right? It's exactly the same. You can use it once per half, and you place you place it down where, you like, you know, the the fucking. I guess you you choose where you do it, and it scatters D three. So things are always going to scatter at least one square. Obviously, you're not going to put it where you want to land. 
you just put it next to where you want it to land. And you know, if it's if you put him here and it scatters two, still gonna hit two guys there. Scatters two there, he's still gonna hit a guy. Like, you know, here just put it well, okay, couldn't put it there for the turnover. Put it there, and unless you're unlucky and it goes that way two squares. It goes this way two squares, you hit two guys. It goes that square one guy, you hit four. You know, it's it's ridiculous ridiculously powerful. Yeah, it knocks over with mighty blow. Oh god, yeah, people would be scumming at everything. Well, not ev not people, but um, but everybody, every Skaven team, like it would be ridiculous. You know, I just put it down here, see what happens. It 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 it's not going to be that bad for you, is it? If it fucks up, but the payoff is just obviously out of this world because it's a fucking wizard. Getting two wizards for 80k. I don't think many people are going to care if it fails. Having to dodge every turn sucks, doesn't it? What can you do? Mesa should reinforce down here. I don't know, wizards are the strongest um, for like elves and Skaven. Could have done, but not not without block on the Skaven. If I'd had block, I could have thought about it. Okay. Get a push. But no, nah, I wouldn't. I didn't fancy it. I'd rather go for something, you know, later. Just give up blocks. It does need four plus on top to hit this guy here. But for eighty k, it's forty k per use. That's insane. Like it probably is a quarter as good as a wizard, but you get two, don't you? That's the thing. I think it's. I think it's definitely like it's. It's obviously worse for like bash teams, but even then, not. Maybe it might not even be worse for bash teams. It might be better for bash teams. Is he gonna get a foul in again? No, not even fouling. Not fouling the thing. Oh yeah, he's got two dirty players. Of course. Yeah. Guaranteed hits would be outrageous. Yeah, less reliable, but it's cheaper than that's the thing. It's much less reliable, I mean. Yeah, exactly. Your D3 fireball here would be amazing, wouldn't it? Like the scattering fireball, the D3 scatter fireball would be amazing here. This doesn't seem very good, does it? Could chain him. Into him. Into him. Into him. Get him out. Blitz him. But that's that's ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Horns him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess horns him. I 
the horns for free there. Uh, sorry, Fen for free there, didn't he? The lucky dingo. I'm not really elf screening here, I'm just protecting my <laughs> my men. If only he should he could have been here, couldn't he? Or this one could have been there, and then he could have been here, and then this he could have been there. I could have done something better. He's just got an open path to the cage here again. That was pretty bad. But I mean, hopefully I've got a team left to one turn. Like, obviously, the loss of the bolt. The bolt's the best thing about all this, obviously. Like, a bolt for 150k is unbelievable. But... Two fireballs for 80k, even though they're un inaccurate, is amazing, isn't it? No, we were like about 10k apart. Luckily, so should be even apart from obviously now I'm somewhat down TV after all these Kaz and KO. I guess he's got a bench that he's not using. So. Yeah, that was awful from leaving this big hole here. Should have thought about that, shouldn't I? Like it's just it's just more risk, risk versus reward, isn't it? Like it's it's it might do nothing or even fucking scatter three and hit your own guys, but eighty k for two chances at a fireball is just insane. Like it's really it's really insane. I wonder if that's on fumble yet. If the new fireball's on fumble, I wouldn't mind playing playing a friendly on fumble to try it out. Now he gets to blitz him instead of instead of some shithead to clean the path. So yeah, I really fucked up there. Elf screen, that's why you don't elf screen there you go. Yeah, I should have gone one there, one there, no one there, one there. There and there would have been the places. Then he would have had to have blitzed the storm vermin. Alright, five plus dodge in for the two D. Is I guess the play. Brilliant. I love playing against a base, it's my favourite favourite thing in the world to do. I should have should have scummed the apple because I knew this was coming. Another foul comes in, another dead gutter. Yep, always. Yeah, they're not getting beaten up though against Skaven, oh, that's the thing. That's the thing, they're just a nightmare for Skaven and Wood Elf. Because they ain't gonna fucking get out back. He's fucking Skaven. Not with my team anyway, that any fucking mighty blow. Different if I had my Roger. But this team, this Skaven team. But should probably concede now. Apple gone. About to get foul for 16 turns. It's pretty tempting.
But like saving the team is a thing, isn't it? My apple's gone. He's going to foul. Eight more turns. He's going to surf this guy. He's going to foul. He's going to surf him. Foul him. I'm going to have no place to even one turn. Maybe snatch a draw of it. Maybe. I don't even know how many times I conceded. I might be banned now. <laughs> oh shit, I should have thought about that first. Oh shit, I should have thought about that. I don't even know how many times I've conceded. I might I might have gone over the over the limit. There's only one way to find out. Oh shit, I should, um. I should, uh. I should wrap up the video <laughs> of that amazing match. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.